hello you guys what is up and welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today in this video we are doing something a little bit different i am just going to be bringing you guys along with me throughout my morning when my when i did not have my child uh, my mom came and picked up linux this day and i was like you know what i'm just gonna film a little cutesy video and then we can answer some questions over top of the video, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, but it felt so weird not having my baby because I literally have him every second of my life. But she came and picked him up for a little bit. And then after I filmed this, I ended up um, being able to film two other videos. So that was really, really, really exciting. Um, so... If you guys are new here, I'll do a brief little intro. My name is Savannah. I am 28 years old. I live in Texas. I have a one or one and a half year old son and we live here. I live here with my boyfriend and we live in a rent house and yeah, that is kind of what we do. So the typical content that you will see on my channel is like budgeting related videos. So I will do um, budget with me is cash stuffings, sinking fund stuffings, um, cash envelope system, and savings challenges, stuff like that. And um, I'm just going to kind of start like answering some of the questions like as I talk. I got a lot of questions about when I started um, budgeting like this, when I started making videos, and you know like kind of like why I started making videos and all that stuff. So I started this system in like peak COVID. So I was a waitress full time. I have been a waitress since I was like 19 years old and I was a waitress up until like 2022 basically. I So okay let me give you a quick backstory. So when I was in high school and basically my whole life I played volleyball school volleyball, club volleyball, all that stuff. Then I ended up playing college volleyball for a little bit and I like actually hated it. So I came back, moved back to Houston and I started going to school in Houston and I did graduate with my degree. I got my um, bachelor's of science in um, social sciences with minors in psychology and sociology. And I... Um, so I got my degree and like all through school, I was working as a waitress. So I have zero student loan debt. I paid it off all as I went. So whenever I left playing volleyball in college and came home to go to college, I, you know, was super like depressed and sad. And I was like, I don't know what to do. My mom was like, just go get like a job somewhere and, you know, it can be fun or whatever. So that's how I got my waitressing job. I just walked into the first place I saw and they hired me and I was like, you know what, screw it, let's try it out. And I ended up making a lot of money doing that. If you guys have been here for a while since like COVID, you would have seen my what I make as a waitress vlog. My I would film every day like what I would make on my shifts and post them and I know a lot of you guys like those type of videos. Um, but so all throughout that time, I was just saving up my money and while I was paying off school and, you know, we also had rent and car payments and all the other things that, you know, you have after you move out. So I was, you know, paying all my bills and saving money. And after I, I got on TikTok one day and saw this girl like, um, saving up her cash chips. And I was like, oh my God, like I could so do that. Like I have a lot of cash chips, like let me start saving them. And I was originally going to start posting TikToks. And then I was like, I'm just going to like post on YouTube. So I started the cash envelope method, the cash budgeting system after I saw the video and then I just got into a rabbit hole and I started researching the cash envelope method. I figured out what sinking funds were. It just like opened up this whole new world because my whole life I, I'm a saver. Like I always save money, you guys. Like I love money. And after I found out this system out, I was like, are you kidding me? Like this is like what my dreams are made of. So that's what made me start this system. I literally just found it and I was just became obsessed with it. And then I saw like a bunch of YouTube videos. Of course, like four or five years ago, there was not that many, not as many creators for this as there are now. So I was watching the videos that I would find on it and um, I just fell in love with it. So if you go back to my early, early videos, you'll see 
I was really just saving all of my cash tips in my cash tip binder and that was so satisfying and then I would make like huge payments to my car principal loan and then I got my car paid off and um, yeah that's just kind of what I've been doing so um, I got a lot of questions like when did you start posting videos why did you start that's kind of why I just I had always been saving money and once I found this method I just love it so much and I love being crafty and I started making my own products like for me to use and then people that were watching my videos were like oh my god like please sell this like I love the trackers and at the time like nobody was making like laminated trackers for the binders but I loved the idea of being able to like have fun in your budget system and like functionality to be able to keep track of your money and I'm never like one to use like an iPad to keep track of like digital planning or anything like that I always use like pen and paper so that is um why I kind of started my Etsy shop because everybody was like, oh my god, I love the trackers, like, please sell them, please make them, and I had my $10 savings challenge with my stars, and I was using that on my channel, and people were like, oh my gosh, like, I want to buy this, so that is why I kind of started my Etsy shop as well, um, just because of demand, and just people showing interest in the products that I was using, like, on my own channel, so that is kind of how my Etsy shop got started and then it just kind of blew up and took off from there and now I'm in such a blessed and grateful situation that I can stay home with my baby and you know make money for our family and support our family and buy groceries and everything that we need and I'm just so incredibly thankful every single day that um, that is my reality so I am just so grateful. But I got a lot of questions asking also if I'm going to go back to serving. Am I ever going to get another job? Um, what am I going to do when Linux goes to school? And all of those questions are, I don't know. Actually, that's a lie. I will never go back to serving. I will never go back to serving. Okay, I say that unless I was just like, you know, desperate and needed a job. It's immediately like I would go back. <gasps> Hi, baby. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi, Lennox. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, I do have my assistant with me now. I don't know how this is going to go, but um, kind of what I was saying, I kind of forgot. But I will not be going back to serving at least anytime soon. I love not serving so much. Like, okay. Until you're out of it and like aren't doing it anymore, you don't realize how taxing it is on you, like on your, you know, mental health, emotional state, even physically, like it is like kind of exhausting, but just not having to deal with, you know, it's, it's a lot. If you've been a server, you understand that it is, thank you, that it is, um, it's a lot. So yeah, as of right now, I have no plans to go back to serving or really to get another job. I mean, my YouTube channel and my Etsy shop, like, what? thankfully, thank you, baby, what? are, like, paying all the bills that I need them to pay and allowing me to save. So I am super grateful for that. And then as far as the future, I don't know what that has in store for us. I will obviously get a job if, you know, I need to or... Um, after what? Thank you. After what? Linux goes back to school, maybe I will. I don't know or goes to school in the future. Um, we do want more kids in the future, so I, I don't know how that will factor into a lot of things. But for now, I am super blessed and grateful to be in the position that I'm in to be able to work from home and stay home with him and, you know, still earn money. So that is what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future. But we will see how it all plays out. I, I don't know. I'm not opposed to going back to work, but I also don't want to put him in daycare. Um, and then like him going to school, like school, school obviously is a ways away. And then if we have more kids, you just never know. So, um, for now I'm super happy and grateful to be doing this and be able to earn money. So, um, that is what we are doing for now, but I think that is all the time I have. I will answer more of the questions I got in future videos, um, cash stuffing videos, etc. I will answer more questions 
and there will not be a beer tasting in this video because it is 9 30 in the morning and I don't feel like having a beer <laughs> or like don't need one so I will do that and catch up in another video but I thank you all so much for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow